city has everything I could ever possibly want. From bars to the most amazing shopping, and it's the fashion capital. It's also the city that never sleeps, and trust me, I never sleep. So I was asked to do a fashion show. I just remember kind of posing, turning around, and walking back to the curtain. That was about it. I wasn't even thinking about how I'm going to pose, how I'm going to do anything, and I just did it. <laughs> and everyone's like, oh yeah, you did really good. And I was, I was shocked. I met Gabby back in high school. We both went to a performing arts center. This is Gabrielle Loren at the 2011 MTV VMA. So we became friends because of that, and we've just stayed friends since then. It's really nice when you find a good group of people that you can go out and get along with and not have too much drama. <laughs> Seems to have a real bad attitude. And the last time we went out and everything with all the girls, it's like she tries to start to fight with everyone. Ruby, I think she's a very fake girl from LA who thinks she's all, I don't know, she's very stuck up, she has a lot of money, and she has no personality at all. The only person I can't stomach is Danielle. I, she's just too snobby for me. <laughs> I hate her. Right now. Well, I'm not that okay with her either. She deletes me on Facebook because she's that mature. And then we made peace a little bit and she ignored it. So the she's just mature as a girl. So I canceled my request. So Ruby tonight was such a joke. Like, I can't even believe what a mess she was. Did you see how she felt at the fashion show? Like, what a joke. <laughs> I honestly can't go out with her ever again. Like, no, she's, she's embarrassing. embarrassing. Did you hear? Case and Viv moved to New York. That's crazy. I can't believe they, they're, like, actually here. I mean, New York City is, like, it's a big city, and not everyone can handle it. Moving out to New York it was so rough for us. No, it's a big city. People are more aggressive here. Um, I wouldn't say everyone's not that friendly, but, you know, people are a lot more friendlier back home. Hi, baby. <laughs> So, come here, I want you to show me um, your design. There's this buyer who's um, wanted me to basically just design some clothes for him. I'm happy for you, that's like such a big thing. You're gonna be huge after this. I hope. <laughs> Melanie and her boyfriend, disgusting. I mean, she's, what, like 19 and he's 50? She, yep. That's pretty sick. Yeah, she's in love with him. You agree with me. She agrees with me. I booked my first job with my new New York agency. I love the photographer. It was really fun and... <laughs> Bridget, I'm looking for love if you ask me. I don't know. Now let's talk about my husband, John B, that I'm going to have seven babies with. Who oh, is this? Was it this? Yes. Are you guys crazy? Are you guys in love? I'm in love already. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know Melanie was a lesbian, but apparently she's sending text messages of girls she hooks up with. I have an announcement to make. I've been hiding it for a while, but... You mean what? Hiding it. Hiding, hiding what? what? I'm pregnant. I might be leaving New York. I just don't think I can make it here anymore. These streets will make you feel brand